we're, we're praying for the, the spiritual health of our nation. Uh, we've also been praying for, um, for our congregation, for this community, uh, for our own lives. You know, I'm concerned about the tone of uh, this election, but ultimately uh, we, we recognize as a, as a church, a Christian church, uh, that whatever happens on uh, Tuesday, uh, God is still on the throne. And uh, we're placing our ultimate hope in, in God uh, because we, you know, we see the political process is so uh, problematic that regardless of who wins, we, we have some very serious issues to uh, wrestle with as a nation. As Christians, we need to pray for this election and that God will bless it and, and bless our country for it. And I brought the boys today and so they could pray with me and it's, it's for their generation that if we don't get this country back on the right track, they're the ones that grow up with it. I was raised in a, in a country that was one nation under God, and that's the foundation this country was built on. And when we get away from that, um, it concerns me that where we will be, where we will need to be. One thing I've found in common with, uh, regardless of who people are voting for, is that they, they they're praying for the health of our nation, which um, to whomever's elected president is not going to fix that and, and you know, we really shouldn't expect that person to do that.